So you want to know how to make Facebook ad images for real estate? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you an over-the-shoulder step-by-step tutorial of exactly how I create Facebook ad images that consistently generate two to five dollar real estate leads with name, phone number, email, whether the lead is an owner or a renter, as well as their time frame of their next move. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Mark Parsons. I'm a licensed real estate agent and online marketing strategist, and I help other realtors and entrepreneurs step up their online marketing to close more deals and get more sales through innovative online marketing strategies. If that sounds like something you're interested in, click to subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell so that you will not miss any new content. And if you get any value from this video, smash that like button so I know that this content has helped. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I create Facebook ad images for my Facebook lead campaigns that consistently generate two to five dollar real estate leads on autopilot. I've also done a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how I set up my Facebook lead ad campaigns which I which I'll link to in the description as well as on the screen here. Now if you're a real estate agent and you want to learn more about online lead generation and how to automate the nurturing process we teach all of that and much much more for agents who partner with us so much more than I can cover on one video and we actually set up your first campaigns so that you can hit the ground running and have leads to call within 72 hours of joining our movement. If you wanna see how your real estate business can benefit from partnering with us at the round table, there is a link in the description to see exactly what our partnering agents are up to. We partner with agents across North America and we get lots of agents reaching out to see if, you know, if the partnership is a good fit. So if you are curious, do not hesitate to reach out for a one-on-one one with me. But without further ado, let me share my screen with you and walk you through exactly how to quickly and easily create Facebook ad images that stop users in the scroll and increase your conversions. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make um, eye-catching, scroll-stopping Facebook ad images. I did a previous uh, tutorial that gave you um, a step by step from start to finish how to create high converting uh, Facebook lead ads that captures leads with uh, name, phone number, email, whether they're a buyer or a seller, and uh, what their time frame was like. But in that tutorial, I glossed over the part of making the uh, image. So I wanted to do that here today to make sure I give the full walkthrough. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to emulate the same style of uh, images that I use in previous ads. You can see uh, that these ads convert. Now, the using the right image adds to your conversion rates, but certainly it's not the make or break. But you can see 29 leads at $1.69, 48 leads at 204, 72 leads at 343, 70 leads at 348. These are all different campaigns. 145 leads at five dollars and eighty-nine cents. I like to keep my leads, and that, that's all in Canadian dollars, by the way. If you are watching from the US, you could shave about 30% off that cost. Now, every market is going to be different in terms of the cost you get. So uh, it will vary from market to market. I like to keep my lead costs under $6 for my Facebook lead ads. Um, you know, but what I found is the more I got things dialed in, as you can see, we're, we're now on average a lot less than that $6 I used to try and keep in. So I'll just give you an idea of the uh, type of images that I'm usually putting on. So you can see it's kind of a grid style there. A few pictures get them curious. Um, let's see. Just to give you an example of uh, what I will be uh, showing you how to do here. I'm pretty much always doing a grid style. I find it works uh, really well. Get some to click and convert. And then you have uh, this one there if you want to put in some wording. Now, the majority of the ones I'm running actually uh, don't even have any text on them at all. I, I use the uh, the headlines and the copy and the button to do all the talking of the uh, that I need to do and the, the images that I'm using are typically, you know, just like this, you can see that there, there were no, uh, no writing on them, but I'll show you how to do both. So anyway, I'm going to take you over to Canva here. This is a, uh, this is where you can do this for free. Very easy. Um, 
once you learn how to use uh, the platform there, now many of you probably have a much better design eye than me. So once you uh, learn how to do it, you'll, you'll probably be able to make stuff a lot nicer than me, but I'll show you exactly what I do. So I want mine to look great on uh, Facebook feed, Facebook desktop, Instagram feed. Now you could just type in like, okay, I'm going to run a Facebook ad. So I type in Facebook ad and you can see they've got uh, different stuff, but it tells you the dimensions 1200 by 628. Uh, I, I like it to look the same on every platform. Uh, so I will always go custom. I do a full square. So I go 1080, 1080. It's worked for me. Certainly you can do what you want. I'm going to go create design. So it's going to start with a blank canvas. I mean, you can go through and uh, uh, take templates there, but I don't usually uh, do that. So what I'll do is I'll just come into Elements, which is where I can scroll down to Grids. So what I did there is I click I clicked See All uh, of the Grids. Here I'll I'll get out and go back just so. Oh. So I scroll down the grids, you can click the arrow and go by like this, or you can just go see all. And typically I'm going to either do uh, something like this one here, two at the bottom and this, or, or this one with three at the bottom, or the full uh, the full square. I mean, or you could, you could use these ones as well, but usually I'm going to be doing uh, either one with two at the bottom, one with three at the bottom, or four like this. So for this uh, example, we'll do this. So now that we have that grid in here, I'm going to go to photos. Um, no, I'm going to go to uploads. Images, I want to upload an image. Come to my computer. All right, so let's see here. Maybe I'll try this one at the top. Why are all these images clicked? And, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just for the uh, uh, sake of example, you're going to have selected pictures that you like. One thing that I do recommend, guys, is make sure you're using uh, pictures that represent your market. Don't take stock photo that doesn't look like it's uh, uh, from your neighborhood. It's got to it's got to appear like it's from the neighborhood. So, like you can see how simple this is, right? You know, obviously you pick the photos that you think are best, but um, that's <coughs> that's how you do it here. And then if you wanted to. Uh, put in, okay, let's get out of these elements here. If you wanted to uh, do shapes here. I mean, this is going to be good enough, just a grid. But for instance, maybe, maybe you wanted to add some text on there. You could say add a heading. You could say Burke Mountain. Maybe I'll take this, to, uh, maybe I'll come here and I'll go to elements. Maybe I'll take something like this behind it. And again, guys, it is not so then okay do i want to do transparency i can kind of do that like that maybe i will come up here and you know you can change the font and i can come and change the color you look oh it even helps you with color palettes based on the colors that it's seeing there that's pretty cool even though what i did definitely won't work I'm going to have to change that color. That's what I mean, guys. My design is my design eye is not good. So let's try that. It's easy a little more now. OK, it's not great, guys, but you can play around with it. Typically, I, I mean, to just keep it fast and simple, I'm going to get the pictures I like. I'm going to come in. I'm going to go to elements. 
I'm going to grab a grid. I'm going to grab a grid. But the frames, like you could frame stuff in there so that the picture would only be seen in this. But I don't get too fancy. So I'm going to do elements. I'm going to slide those pictures in. If you want to do text, you just hit text. Um, if you want to add shapes that so you can put the color and the different transparency, things like that. Obviously, that's not a good color the way it blends in uh, for this. But you can just come here and go to a, a color wheel. I mean, you know, I'm not going to get too much into the design stuff. I want to show you the mechanics of how to do it. You'll have your brand colors. You'll have, uh, you know, the design things that you've seen that you like like that you can go by the main things that i want to show you with canva is a how you do the custom size because i do it as a square elements come in check out the grid see all if you want it if you want to add text you just add text there this uh up here when you click on it that's when you're going to be able to um you know do transparency. This can make it transparent or not. So that is a good feature you want to know. Um, up here, you would pick the color. And then th that's going to be the same with the text as well. And that's it. Yeah, if you want to add the elements behind, you've got those shapes there and you can shape them to uh, make squares around there and stuff. But that's really it, guys. I want to keep it simple because that's that's all it has to be. You don't want to overcomplicate things. But this uh, Canva is a very, very easy tool to use to make great professional looking photos to put in your ads so that your ads pop. And that's all you'll need. The rest uh, the rest will do for itself um, in terms of the uh, the call to action. Are you are you hitting your market properly with the ad? You want to you want to create ads around what you know your buyers are already buying, what's moving in your property. Now that could be uh, homes under a certain value. That could be in my market, it's an expensive market. Uh, it can be homes with mortgage helpers. Rental suites is very big. In some markets, it could be homes with pools. That's not mine, um, but uh, yeah, just look at what's moving. Make ads around that. Uh, you can do homes list. You can like, for instance, this could be a single home, or you could have done uh, four different homes in your neighborhood. All all the front of these properties, or maybe two fronts, and then two great interior ones, and then take them to a list of homes in your area. But just make sure that when they see this. It looks like home. For instance, I've seen people run realtors run ads in my city where I can I can just look at the property and see it's from San Francisco. You know, San Francisco has that look, but they've gone to let's say a stock a stock. Uh, uh, a stock image site typed in townhome. And of course, the first thing that comes up is those uh, beautiful townhomes in uh, in San Francisco. They're, they're now world renowned from the show full house or whatever, but you put them in my market and someone, it just do, it doesn't connect people or they, they think that someone's running an ad who's not even from the local area. So make sure your images resonate with the local residents. And uh, other than that, guys, any questions at all, uh, let me know. That's how we put together the uh, image ads to get Facebook ads at work. All right, there you have it. With that video, you should now know exactly how to create high converting Facebook ad images fast, easy, and for free. If you have any questions at all or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments below. Again, guys, if you would like to learn more about our movement at the round table and how we are helping agents get off the transactional treadmill and make more money doing exactly what you're already doing, helping clients buy and sell real estate, check the link below or reach out directly. See you on the next video.